Welcome to Pokapat ABC Tanojang, Jungjung Dongsa Pyeon. Today is month 6, day 10. Our first word of the day is stamp. Stamp. 한국말로 설명하면 팍팍 밟다, 찍다, 표시하다 또는 우표하다. 영어로 설명하면 to bring down the foot forcibly. So, 무겁게 발을 밟는 거예요. 팍팍 밟는 거예요. Or it can be a postage stamp. 우표, postage stamp. Postage. Or it can be something you use to to put a to put a stamp on something. 찍는 stamp. 표시하는 stamp. So there's lots of different ways to use stamp. Stamp이랑 비슷한 말은 print, print, 찍다, 표시하다, mark, and imprint. All of these mean 그 찍어서 어떤 걸 남기는 거예요. That would be to stamp something onto something else. So you could say, I stamped the date at the top of the letter. Or, I stamped the date at the top of the letter. That would be, 나는 날짜를 I stamped the date 편지의 상단에 at the top of the letter 표시했습니다. I stamped it. So these types of stamps, 이건 표시해주는 stamp입니다. So I stamped the date at the top of the letter. 나는 날짜를 편지의 상단을 표시했습니다. Our next word is wake. Past tense woke, woken. 한국말로 깨다, 깨우다. 영어로 설명하면 to cease to sleep or to become awake. To cease to sleep or to become awake. So 그만 자는 거나 깨우는 거예요. So you might say my alarm woke me up. The sun and my alarm woke me up. You might say, wake up with a cup of coffee. 커피 마시면서 깨우다. 깨우자. So, awake랑 비슷한 말은 awaken. Awaken. 깨우다. Awake. 깨다. 깨우고 있다. Arouse. 깨우다. So you could say, it was still bright when I woke from my daydreams. It was still bright when I woke from my daydreams. So daydreams is 백일몽. So 내가 백일몽에서 깨어났을 때, when I woke, 여전히 날이 밝았습니다. It was still bright. The next word is bite. Bite. Past tense, bit, bitten. 한국말로 설명하면 물다, 깨물다 또는 물어 뜯다. 영어로 설명하면 to grip, 잡다, or cut off, 깨물다, as if with the teeth or jaws. 그 턱이나 그 이빨로. So you might bite a lemon, bite an apple. You might get bit by a bug or by a small animal. So being bitten is getting 그 어떤 걸 당신을 무는 거예요. So the past tense of bite is bit. The passive tense of bite is bit. My dog bit me. Bite의 과거 시제는 bit이다. Past tense, 과거 시제는 bit이다. 우리 개가 나를 물었다. My dog bit me. 우리 개가 나를 물었다. The next word is bray. Bray. 한국말로는 당나귀가 울다. 당나귀 울음. 영어로 설명하면 to utter, 말하다. The, lar, er, the loud, harsh cry of a donkey. 당나귀처럼 우는 거예요. 그런 소리 만드는 거예요. So a donkey brays. Sometimes moose or deer bray. They make the noise. That would be a bray. In English, we have another word for bray, which is hee-haw, hee-haw. That is 위성어 for what a donkey says. That is onomatopoeia, 위성어. So you could say the donkey braid and the bray of a donkey awoke, awoke me, awoke me. The donkey braid and the bray of a donkey awoke me. 단나귀가 울었고, the donkey braid, 단나귀 울음소리가 나를 깨웠다, and the bray of a donkey awoke me. 